Good afternoon, it's Rachel here and I am back from Australia and completely jet lagged <laughs> and struggling is to be honest. Um, so uh, yeah, been up awake since one o'clock this morning. So I've only had four hours sleep and uh, not feeling so good because of due to the lack of sleep. But anyway, we will soldier on. I think the best way is just to push ahead and see if I can get back into the swing of things um, as fast as possible. So I think I'll just do a fairly simple video today um, in the sense that I'm not going to... Oh, I pulled those out, but maybe I don't... I don't even remember the last things I did. Um, yeah, I'm not going to push myself too hard to do too much. But I'm thinking what I do need to do is um, the jar for envelopes, which I did double side print today. And um, I want to put some little journal cards in. And then I think I need, I've done, like I was looking at the folders of things and I've done a lot of sort of more fancy sort of um, in, in inverted commas um, tags. So I'm thinking I might do some, I'll just run that down here. Oh, this glue has not been opened for a month. I thought I might just do some more uh, simple. Oh, it's, yep, totally got a layer of stuff over it sorry guys didn't even think about that okay got it off oh no i need to stick a pin in it this has never happened before with this glue it's always been fabulous there we go need oh too much glue need to press it needed to press a bit harder then i press too hard so I'm just going to close that. Yep, so I just double-sided printed them um, with some of my background papers because I just wanted plain sort of papers. So I'll just leave that. I won't put too much pressure on it. And I'll just let that sit aside over here and dry. These ones I'm going to leave like this. Some of them, that is the bottom and that's the top flap. Oh, I want to decorate them. That's what I wanted to do a little bit of work on them too. So these are just like little... Um, faux envelope journaling spots these ones but anyway I'll just go through this one see that's the bottom on that one and that's the top on that one so some of them are they're different you just go look at the way the writing's going um, this one I think that might be the up so they all need something on them so I just wanted to quickly glue the ones that need gluing I know I should have done that before that's another one of those but I didn't do it before so we just have to do it now it take two seconds put that there put that there good and see I think they need something on them because I can't leave well enough alone so how is everyone I hope you're all well um, slowly things will come out of me about my trip I'm sure um, I did have a wonderful time. It was just the the courses that we held were just so much fun. It was so lovely to put faces to names. Although, you know, sometimes I needed help because sometimes your usernames are not the same as your name or, you know, they sort of change over the different social medias. So, um, but it was really great. There were some that I really recognized the names because you leave a lot of comments and it was just really an awesome out-of-body kind of experience uh, and I hope everybody well we hope everybody enjoyed themselves because we certainly did and uh, so yep that was really cool to meet everybody and and just you know have that experience with my mum and my sister was really 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 fun because they often do things together like that like courses and things like that well, we held courses, but we also did the Fleur course, as you know. Um, and Mum and Sass can quite often do a course together, but I, I'm obviously I'm over here and I can never do anything with them. And I live in a in a course desert over here. There's really nothing worthwhile, um, except for Michaela's course that she held for the ladies. That was worthwhile. Um, yeah, so it was really like a dream come true for me to do a course with Mum and Sass. And then, of course, I got to hang out with my dad and my brother. And my older brother came down and um, from Brisbane. And 
and we watched my his son, my nephew, sail in the 18 footers world championships, which was really cool. We went out the ferry both days on the weekend, whereas the final two days of races, and um, Juanette was in Sydney, so we had not um, an extra ticket, so we invited Juanette to come as well, which was really fun. I think Juanette enjoyed herself. It's a typical um, yachty sort of family thing to do. I, that's the sort of thing I grew up doing because my dad was a sailor and my um, and then my older brother as well. And so it was pretty normal for us to to be involved in that sort of thing. And um, and we took one net to um, the sewing basket, which was great fun. And she was very timid in the beginning, and she came along. And I had already filled my basket, and one net had three things in her basket. And I said, one net, I did not bring you to the sewing basket to buy three things. Get cracking. And then she did manage to um, fill her basket. And honestly, it's all for charity. And prices are very good and then we took her to the Skane sisters and I kept forgetting the name because I hadn't heard of them I kept calling them the twisted sisters <laughs> and that was fun and oh Monette I mean went home with all kinds of hand dyed um it's called fing uh, fingering socks sock fingering um to make the socks four ply hand dyed wools but they're lovely to embroider with that's what we use a lot you see me using that a lot so we collect them up and then um, and then sort of give each other a little bit because they're big skeins and they're quite expensive to buy. So you just buy an amount each time and then um, and then we share. So that way we get a variety of colours. So there we go. So that's that. Okay. So I've done my envelopes and I'm going to now um, sort of have a look. I've got some decorative things here. They're sort of more plain papers. Okay. Oh, there's more envelopes. Oh, well, I didn't prepare that one. See, I haven't done any of these little tags. I printed these off the page, but they're lovely. I think I would like to back, back that one with that. And I think I'll trim it there. Where's my scissors? I don't even remember how to do anything, guys. It's totally switched off. Okay, so I want to... I probably should get my cutter. that off I know it was meant to be folded but I you know I don't like to do what I'm supposed to do if they don't match it's okay I will um, I, think, I have a feeling it might go I don't know which way it goes but I think like that if it, if they don't um, match I'll just trim them I need glue stick who knows if the glue stick is working it's probably all oh no, it shouldn't be dry because it was closed no no it's working so it was definitely nice to i'm very pleased to be back in here um i'll have to show you what i made with jaff although most of you will have seen that on i think on instagram and then sarah showed a little bit on her in her video um so you will have seen what i created but i couldn't believe that i i was able to do that I said to Jaff, this, uh, not Jaff, I'm thinking of Jaff because I'm using Jaff's kits. I said to Fleur, um, did I say Jaff before I meant Fleur? Um, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. And she was, she said, that's because you're used to, you know, taking um, your sort of jumping starting point is from like a flower or, or a shape or something like that. Whereas the, what we did was we made a um, sort of rock pools. Not everybody made rock pools, but that was one of the things you could make um, was that, you know, that um, it did, it was sort of blank. It was a blank, literally a blank canvas. So um, I wasn't sure that I would be able to get myself going with that. So I'm going to put that aside. I don't know if I'm going to put something else on it or not, but I'm putting it away because that's going to go in one of the little, um, what do you call it? Little envelopes. 
So first I want to decorate them. I'm sort of getting, getting myself all over the place. So I don't think I want to, I could put a little something there. So let me see. If there's something that I would like to put on there. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I love that. What about one of these? More pockets. We don't need any more pockets. Oh, I could have cut them out with the normal scissors. I'm thinking I might put this one. So whilst, you know, with the jet lag, you kind of wake up really early. Um, and so you do get lots of things done. At the same time, you sort of feel off, like I just feel off. And so I'm not um, getting, you know, I'm not feeling so creative, if, you, if that makes sense, because I'm feeling a bit off. I can do, you know, um, logistical things like package orders and a little bit of accounting, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but not feeling overly creative. I guess it will come. I've got to, just got to be patient. So I'm going to put that there. I could come back in there and stamp it, but for the moment I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to put them under here just so that they flatten. Now let me see this one. See, that could be a nice writing spot as well. However, I do see this over here. I'm thinking I'm going to add this somewhere. So I think next week, did I say this in the beginning? I think next week I will, I'm trying to see which way is the up. Next week I will start, um, I think that is, that's it. Yes, there's a person there. I will, I'm going to put this on as a tab. I will start um, putting together the journals because we haven't even thought about that. We've just been making ephemera and pockets, but I feel like I'm now at the point that I can consider... Sometimes I just know with the journal and I'll do that, put the journal together first and sometimes I don't. So I just start making ephemera, which is what we did here. And um, just make sure I lift that up. I'm going to put this as a tab, which is kind of weird, but why not? Yep, so next week we'll put start putting together the pages, I think. Look at the covers. What cut type of journal do I want to make? Cool. Something different. Now this one here has scope for having something put on it. Oh, did I already see that one? I think I did. I think I'd like to put these lovely ladies. And I think I'm just going to cut them out square, not with the crunchy scissors. So now that I've cut that out of this, I can't print on that now. But what I can do is I'll that one in the future will be backed with something. And I also think I might put a bit of book page. And again, you know, doing this sort of thing, like the envelopes are lovely on their own, just as they are. But you know, it's just a nice way that you can... I like the colour of this, even though it's sort of 1900s. I do like the colour of this paper so, and the texture of it. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to put that there and put this slightly off. Yeah, it's a nice way that you can um, sort of personalise something that's already done. So congratulations to the ladies that won um, the, our Fleur, um, Roxy Sisters, as she called us, um, uh, giveaway. We were super excited to organise that and Fleur very kindly offered the books and um, the packs as well. So lucky, lucky winners. 
envelope. Now this one is very much decorated. I've glued it, glued it down the wrong way, actually, but it doesn't matter. It will just say, well, it, oh no, that's right. Oh no, it's up, I've glued it upside down. It's an upside down envelope, that's okay. We can go with that. And do I feel like I want a little stamp on it? Possibly, possibly not, possibly yes. Um, nope, none there. those out I might use those somewhere and do I have any I could have some over here oh, I've got lots of things over here but no I've got one of these ovals what do I have in the oval land of the ovals she's a bit small I would like her if she were bigger maybe that one So you can also reinforce these, and I think we've done it before. Actually, I know we've done it before. And uh, use them to hold the envelope closed. But I'm just going to put this one right here, just to add another colour. Now, I probably don't even need all these envelopes. Okay. what's happening over here. I don't need pockets. I'll put those over there. I think that's my daughter bashing. I actually think that's really pretty and I'm not covering her. I think I'm going to put that there. just layering things up now I could have added a bit of book page just to add it really would add another color because we've got plenty of script going on here but that would have really just add another color but I actually quite like the soft tones of that so I'll put that one in there we have this one here let's just see what this might look like Oh, I might do a smaller one. I saw I've got some smaller ones up there. I might choose that instead, but we'll just see. Yep, I'm going to choose a smaller one, I think. I've just noticed I have them here. One, yeah. We'll do a few more and then we'll start to fill them. Fill them. I might only put one thing in them. I like that. However, I need to put some book page behind it. Now, where's the rest here? I've got more over here. Yeah, there. So in our first course that we did at the Green Door that we, we held, we um, did slow, you know, the slow stitch um, books with the hard cover. And so that was really fun. A lot of you, know, most of the ladies kind of, or pretty much everyone um, knew what they were doing. Um, but it was fun to go around and make suggestions and help if anyone was having trouble doing backgrounds and that sort of stuff. And, um, Sess did a demonstration of um, thread painting which not everyone is confident with so and it was just a really beautiful um, 
vibe and of course Wynette was there from Arizona from Wynette's Crafty Corner and Helen came from um I now don't I'm not going to remember everybody but um Helen came from Perth and Judy and Fiona came from New Zealand and then we had lots of people from Sydney Canberra Inga from Canberra and um and Queensland and in our second course we had people from um, pretty much oh we had also Christina from uh, Victoria she brought one net up so there were it was a big variety of people but it was just such a lovely and excuse me for not saying everybody's names but it was just a really lovely um, vibe and feeling in the room it was just so much fun and then the second course we had all Aussies and um, from all about the place from Queensland Sydney around the area and um, Canberra again and I think Victoria as well. It's a nice representation. I think I'm going to put that over there. And there, in, in the second course, we did, um, you know, mark making and a sort of art journal, mixed media art journal. So we had fabrics as well. And everyone just let loose, let, let their inner child be released it was really a lot of fun I think I really like that there so just showing different ways that you can use these wonderful pieces that are provided by Jark in the kits there's so many things and then I think I'll stop decorating envelopes and then we'll start having a little look at I won't fill them all because we've been here already a while and I was only going to do a short video because I'm a bit off as you know like that gorgeous envelope okay let's just start looking at the types of things that I might like to put in them so I have this one that's a nice journaling spot that can pop in I would pop that one in there and then I might grab you know a little piece of ephemera or something and put that in there so that one's I'll put that one aside that's been done and let's just see about the place what I have so I've got all of these still to add something to if necessary I might not add anything to that one I probably would add a little something to those so and I don't need to add anything to that one so we'll put those ones aside here I've got a whole lot of things cut out so I can decide to sort of back them onto each other if they fit like there were also these as well on the pages. I think I might use those as tabs. Oh, these ones actually are printed double-sided already. So I may um, put those in with something else. So I'll slide that one in there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. These ones that are double-sided, they're just regular piece of um, copy paper. But then I'll we'll come go ahead and put something else in. So these are all little one I could use that as a tab I'll just pop that one there that's lovely that one I like. see I like that in there with that one so I'm not using them I'm not putting them in all matchy matchy either I'm just putting them in where I like think I might like to see it that one can go in there so they're all double-sided because of course when I printed off the envelopes those um, pieces of ephemera were on the page as well so I ended up having um, them being double-sided as well. So I've got this one. I don't want to put that one in the same one. Um, as I said, I'm mixing and matching. Love that with that. Look how cute that is, and it's small. And so what I could do, I did say I wanted to use these as tabs. These mini ones I'm going to use as tabs. These ones, so you could even have two in there. That one's got two, so that one's complete. Just keeping it simple today, and I love that. And I'm going to put in this here. And that one. So there's two in that one. Love the little tab on that. That's a bit of fun. Now this, these ones, as I said, I'm going to keep as tabs. So I'll put those over there. I still have these, so... I think I'm going to like, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty together? Put that one in there. Let's 
see what else it can have. My fingers are a little bit sticky, so the paper's sticking to me. Makes life easy, doesn't it, when you've double-sided printed, so that we've got one bigger and one smaller. So just little extra journaling spots, and you can put cute little pieces of plain paper in there as well if you want to. Oh, that's nice, but I think I'll put that one in there. So it's not. And this is my upside-down envelope because I'm a ding -a -linger. But don't worry about it. It still works. And also, this is... I thought that was meant to tuck under there, but it doesn't. Anyway, that's okay. It's upside down. It goes like that, but you open it upside down. And we can put, let's put that one in there as well. I'm thinking I may actually glue this piece de folded down a little bit like that, just because it's um, curling up too much because it's so long, because it was meant to be the top. And I did the wrong thing, didn't I? Anyway, I'll play with that. I've got, I'll glue that down. So that's that one. This one I need something that, well, that can go in there, but I want something even bigger in that one. So I'll put that aside. That's the end, I think, of my double-sided bits. I've only got one bit in there. Okay, so, and one bit in each of those. So what else can we have? Well, we've got lots of these, but we just need to, to back them. May as well use up your bits. Now I could have, which would have been the clever thing to do, back that first and then cut it out. I'll do that with the next ones, but I'm going to put a backing on there. What do I have here? Who remembers this? I'm going to put that on there. I don't think I want it to grow in the sense like, you know, have any extensions. I could have a tiny bit. I can always trim it off. Just because um, it won't fit in my envelope, whichever one I decide to put it in. So, let's see how we go. Where will I? Oh, I'll put that one in there. No, this one. It's going to fit in there. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, good. I did a little extension on that one. Okay, so that's got two. Next. I'm going to listen to what I told myself. Oh, do you know what else you can put in? Let's just have a look at these. This is just a um, 1927. I think that was this. Oh, no, not that book. It's another book. However, this, if I trim, where's my cutter? I, of course, I haven't pulled it out since. Oh, there it is. So this one, if I just trim this down a little bit. Actually, no. Why don't I fold that over that way? And Oops. No, fold it over the other way. I don't want to see it's cracking because it's obviously 1900s paper that cracks. But I might just glue that down because I like that itch. Sometimes the title page, I don't like to, I like to keep the title page. It doesn't matter when that's from. I just like the font often on the title page. And then that one I can. So this is another example of something that you can put into these envelopes is a little piece of ephemera and I'll fold that over like so and just slide that in with that one there's another journaling spot put that over here those do I have any plain bits here no No, it's all got the font on it. It's probably good glue paper, that. Oh, here's some old wormy paper. Now, I could glue that. 
there and I think that would be fine. Let's just glue it on here. So I'll slide it up as high as I can go just because there's the big worm holes there and see it's a little bit white so I can color that in with my um, with my Tombow pen or I can um, put another paper there Now this one, I didn't snip my other corners, but I think I'll snip them on here. I'll keep that piece. I'll just take when you, if you want to keep the piece, just make sure you take that off while the glue is still drying, because otherwise you you'll have a lumpy bit on there. And I've just grabbed my Tombow. Oops, and I dropped it. Oh not so easy okay i like to use the brush end just carefully color in it does dry a bit lighter color in there a little bit where um it was white okay and that will go in this one I've got two that needs to dry it's still very bendy two um journal cards in there little ones now this is slightly bigger so what will we use that's slightly bigger that will fit in that one let's glue well, I might as well glue that one on there while I've got it almost make it okay I'm going to keep that bit I won't keep that bit, it's too far gone. So I'll put that in there. Okay, and then this one. No, I've got to see I'm going to use that as a tab as well Put that over there I have that one oh, oh that's nice what about if I use this piece here is that going to be too big no so this is one of Jaff's um, journal papers collaging papers So in tomorrow's video, I think it's what's in what's in whoops, what's in my box tomorrow, and um, I think I might show you if I remember. I'll probably forget what I um, made in, in in Fleur's course. I'm just trying to see if I had. I'm just gonna grab another piece. Oh, here's another piece of wormy paper. Let's use that. Or this, I oh know that isn't that lovely. That 1840. Oh, why don't I'm gonna put that in one? I told you I love those pages. What is this page? This might be good, something like that. I might put 
like that on there. No, I don't like the colour. I like this colour more with this one. Isn't it funny? It's a colour thing. So I might put that in the middle. No, I'll put it over here, actually. No. Put it there. Okay. Decisions, decisions, decisions. So I'm going to put this. I've got so much glue on my fingers, guys. I can't. I can't function. Oh, I need to buy more of these. Just can't function. It's too much glue. The struggle is real. Okay, got the glue off. I can stop having a hissy fit now. Um, right. So what I can do is I'll just trim off the bottom. Now, what we have no, I think I'll get rid of that. It's a bit dirty too, so I'll take that bit off. But I am leaving a little edge because I've got room to move with this one because the envelope is bigger. And then this here, I certainly don't want that. I'm just going to tear that. And then this, I'm going to fold yep, like that and glue that down. So that deals a little bit with the wormhole and then here let's do a, a light colour it's not exactly the same colour but it doesn't matter okay and that's going in that one oh yes I thought that had something in there it does at the front that's it there okay that's that one and then in this one I am going to add this beautiful piece which is going to be perfect can I fold it in half yes and that one is going to go in there okay so that is it so we'll just quickly recap we I printed the envelope pages that had these as well um, with a backing paper cut them all out glued up the envelopes with this kind of backing paper you could also leave them open so they were opening out sort of journaling spots um, and then some of them I made some little journal cards to go in others I put even some title pages in you can put ephemera in them and the idea is to create that's got two journal cards I'll just quickly show you them I won't pull out the journal cards because um, I didn't do too much to those. Um, yep, just added a little bit of embellishment to the envelopes and and then filled them so they're ready to go. And I don't need all of these envelopes, I can tell you now, for the journals that I'll be making, but I'll have them put aside for the next ones. And they're super cute. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Fairly simple. These ones are writing spots. I may, I probably wouldn't add anything to that one because it's super pretty. I might add a little something to that one and that one and I'll probably add something to that one I've still got to fill that one and that one is I could add something to that as well so there we go so I hope you enjoyed that have a wonderful Monday and I will see you again soon thank you so much for watching bye